and I'm like, Sorry. hey, gorgeous, Laughing. like, you know, like, how you doing? Uh, how you doing, handsome? Hey, sexy you know? butt. Yeah, yeah, you know, that sort of thing, right? And he'll just be like, <laughs> Sorry. hey, thank I you. I do it. Sorry. Yeah, he's just like, hey, Kay, thank you. But he doesn't respond. And he does Hey, 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 welcome to Mama's Here. I'm Diana Hashim. And I'm Sophia Mustad. We're here to share the real unfiltered side of motherhood. Think of us as your mom gang on this insane adventure, constantly learning, growing, and most of the time, just winging it. Mama's here because we know you've always been there for others. Now it's our turn to be there for you. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Woo! Mama's Here. I'm Sophia Masta. And I'm Diana Hashim. And today, we are going to dive in to a very, very interesting topic uh mm-hmm. initially we had another thing in mind but yeah. having caught up with our guest today <laughs> we she brought decided, our own stories yeah we've decided you know screw it we are gonna talk about relationships with our partners with our husbands Woo! yes oh my god i'm so excited <laughs> yes and, beware husbands okay and while this might be you know sort of like it's not an unfamiliar thing it's yeah. Every partnership goes through these sort of situations. However, yes. it is usually a sensitive topic. Yes. So bearing in mind, I'm just going to give a bit of a disclaimer. We all work through things differently. That's right. And I'm a massive advocate for couples therapy, if anything at all. Yes, out is. of nowhere, you're like, your advice is like absolutely horrible. But <laughs> either ways, we've got our beautiful guest here Woo! today. Nadia Harlem in the house. <laughs> So. Well, she's a mom to, yes. uh, to an incredible 12-year-old mm-hmm. and a content creator right in the midst of today's trend. And of course, she's also married. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, that's how we're talking about husbands. Yeah, yes. with husbands. That's why. Because of, her, because of Mike. Thank you, Mike, for giving us this inspiration. <laughs> Shout out to my husband <laughs> for giving uh. us this inspiration. But honestly, I think this topic is very, very nice to talk about. And uh, I do want to touch into topics, I mean, into the subtopics that's sensitive that maybe mm-hmm. we don't talk about that much mm-hmm. but like D said that it is something that we all have it different way like we all have three different like obviously different two types different of two different, <laughs> husband, two different type of marriages uh, of course it. I, but one thing that I would say here is marriage is hard oh, <laughs> marriage is a constant work y'all it's a constant work okay yes it is but before we fully dive into that a word from our sponsors We at Grow & Glow Mama are a sanctuary where motherhood meets empowerment. Together, we embrace strengths, lean on each other, and illuminate the path for all mamas. Join our vibrant community on Instagram and hotline group. Let's grow and glow together every step of the way. Welcome back. So we've got a guest, Nadia Halim Jobkowska. I got it right. Dad. You got it right. I got it right. I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. The first time. Dude, no, because prior to this, you'd have to write it down. That's right. But not in her actual spelling. Yeah. Yeah. But either way, so we love Nadia because she is absolutely awesome on social media. And, you know, you're so open with like talking about your relationships from yeah. time to time. And especially yeah. like with your long distancing and everything. Ooh. So we are going to dive into a lot of relationshipy stuff. Uh, especially for um, you know moms who have partners where you know are different culture different backgrounds yeah. multiple things multiple things a lot of husbands. things we can talk about uh, I think it's a list I don't think one hour it's will... gonna be a 10 hour yeah, conversation 10 hours yeah. Yeah. Very but, but then <laughs> again yeah. in all this marriage thing as you know when I in my 20s I always say oh my god I want to get married the perfect guy bam <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my 30s I've been married to my husband for 7 years marriage is so freaking hard it is yeah. hard how <laughs> is it like how long have you been married again two, uh, next one will be two years okay but we've, we've yeah. been together for five years so okay but this year will be six how do yeah. y'all meet ah uh, he moved to the house next to mine <laughs> oh gitu <Yeah. laughs> Yeah, I love these yeah, two seriously. Yeah, in Sungai Bulo, I was in Valencia, Sungai Bulo, mm. so I was staying, and then he moved to the house next to mine, and uh. that's how we met each other. And also, he was a teacher to my nephew. Oh, oh my, my god! My cute neighbor. <laughs> School scandal, guys. School, school scandal. scandal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ha- I'm sending my nephew to school. I'm like, no, uh, no. just just to you know, cuci mata, you know, at that time. Gacha bulak dia ni. But honestly, I'm sure the first. Okay, you've known him for five years. Been married for two. So the first three years must be hard because you do a long distance then or how? Yes, we, would, we were doing a lot of long distance. I think it was more than a year 
mm. full on distance. Mm-hmm. So, um, but then we still get to know each other when we were before he had to leave to Poland, right? Okay. During the COVID lockdown. So yeah, I I did get to know him a, a lot more. Okay. Well, that's cool. I mean, like I did go through that something similar. Like oh, yeah, my husband and, and I, we've been together for. Do the math. I've been with him since two thousand nine. Oh my goodness! And we got married in two thousand eighteen. Oh, Ooh, that's, that's when Mariam's was born. <clears throat> yeah, so it's a How long old time. are you? No, honey, I'm thirty five this year. I mean, sorry, last year. Sorry, I'm thirty five. But then, um, that's the thing. It's like we're all in such different states of our lives. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the growth and everything is very, very different. How long have you been? With oh seven, I've, right? You said. I've been I've been married for seven years. Yeah. I've known him. Uh, I know him. I knew him in August. Mm. We got engaged in November. Me too. Oh, uh, December, so and then we got married in April. Pantas. Yes. <laughs> No, but yeah, it's very fast because we. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh my god! Okay, okay. <laughs> but honestly, I've known him for like just a sh- short period of time. But of okay. course, I learned a lot in the marriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first two years, I was like a baby. I would say everything put on Raju, everything put on this, everything. Oh, I don't want to be with you anymore. But you can't do that because you're no. married. Yeah, yeah. You know that kind of things. That's why I say marriage is hard. Yeah. yeah so it I is. want to know your like. How does it feel like, especially? That your husband is from Poland, mm, right? Poland, so. yeah, he's Polish. I'm actually the fact that he he's willing to learn about Islam at first mm. and convert to Islam was already a big thing for me because I know a lot of you know like foreigners they probably wouldn't do it, right? Yeah. Because it's like a big step. I understand. Imagine if I have to convert to other religion, like yeah, yeah. I don't want to do it. You know what yeah. I mean? So the fact that he does it, I appreciate it so much. And he's such an open-minded person. He's He's open to learning. Mm. He's open yeah. to growth. And I think that makes it easier for, for the two of us. Yeah. Um, however, I feel like we're very... So the gap, the age gap between me and my husband is 11 years. Whoa, okay. <laughs> that's yeah. a okay. big gap. That's okay. A, okay, that's, that's, a, that's a very, very big, yeah, big gap. Yeah, that's a big gap. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. 11 years. So he's already... He's in his 40s. And I'm in his, and I will be in my 30s this year, so you can see that he's probably in a wow. different, different part of life, of mind, like a different, different state of mind, what he wants in life. Yeah. yeah, he probably already went through what I am going going to go through right. soon, right? So at this moment, like ever since last year, uh, when he came back, and until today, I would say that um, it's a lot of struggle for us. I'm not gonna like sugarcoat it. It's a yeah, struggle yeah, for yeah. us. We've been separated for nine months, and then we came back. I'm trying to like adapt to it again, mm-hmm, and then mm-hmm. I have different things that I want. Before we both were like going in the same way, yep. but now probably like I'm going on a ride a little bit more, and he's probably going straight still. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, so at this moment of our marriage, there's a lot of work that's that's that we have to do right now. Yeah. Um, but. I don't think that's a problem. I think that's great. Mm-hmm. You know, it only shows that we are willing to move forward and we are willing to do together, you know, yeah. more as, as as a married couple. Do you see, like, it's really great how, you know, despite the differences, we know that you have a lot of similarities with yeah. your husband because <laughs> you're both, you both have children. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and <clears throat> despite not having kids together, it's kind of yeah. like, it's How do you blend it? Yeah, blend it's like, it together. It's blended family. Blended family. Wow, well, yeah. got some tea girls. Yeah. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Well, I think at first when we started our relationship, it was really great. Everything went well. The, the girls, his girls were very close to me mm-hmm. and my girls were very close to me. They, they were like siblings in a way, right? Mm-mm. But, you know, people, they, are, they get jealous of, of me and Mike. Oh. So, you know, you do, how do I say it? You don't sound like an asshole. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> well, she started to brainwash the kids. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> the ex. Yeah. And then that's when the separation comes. And then everything just collapsed. And from there on, it was really hard for us just to get in touch with his kids because yeah. of that. And, um, and, and just looking at her, the ex-wife, I'm like, I never want to be her. Because mm-hmm. I was the ex-wife too, to my first husband, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. Never once in my life I said anything bad about my ex-husband mm. ne- to my daughter. Mm. You know, despite he's not the best, yeah. he's not the best husband for sure. That's why divorce happened. Never said anything because I know it doesn't make sense. Why would I, you know, create, you know, put things unnecessary things in my daughter's head, right? Yeah. But it was hard. <clears throat> so on that part, um, it was just not it. Until today, it was not great. It's just separation. 
Uh, but Mike has been great to my daughter. Yeah. He's been a very uh, supportive father and Amanda loves her, loves him so much. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what's important because whatever I can't control, I can't control. If you want to stay out of our lives, stay out of our lives. Yeah. You know, we don't want any unnecessary problems. But what we want to focus on was our life as the three of us, Mike, yeah. me and Amanda. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So that's what we focus on at the yeah. moment. I mean, that makes sense because you're kind of working with what you have. Yeah. And, and you know, it <clears throat> is important to also really touch base with what is currently here in the now rather Stay than long. thinking too much about, you know, what are the things that we can yeah. do yes. and that sort of thing. And it does, it does add stress to that part. But yeah. that being said, you know, like with a huge ass gap of age <laughs> and all How do you even deal with that? Communicate. How do you communicate? Because they you communicate. Like Polish. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, babe. You, dear Polish. <laughs> yeah. And then for me, I mean, even me, just seven years different. Also, mm. there's a lot of communication that I do not I mean, obviously, we're seven years gap. Yeah. He yeah. has tried more things than I uh -huh. did. You know, yeah. that kind yeah. of thing. So how do you handle that? Generally speaking, I would say, um, even with the age gap, I think I I would blend in better with people who are older than mm. younger or the same age mm -hmm. as I am because I mature much faster than anyone yeah. my age because I had Amanda when I was 17. Yeah. Yeah. So they kind of pushed me to be more mature. Mm. So I am more relevant to older people mm. than I am to the younger generation. Yeah, yeah. with them a lot better. So no. I don't find any any problem with that. I think it was easy um, for me, especially Mike. He He's so understanding, right? Mm -hmm. On some level, hey, not everything. Yeah. <laughs> not yeah. everything's sure, perfect. Sure, sure, yeah. sure, but sure. Let's be real. Mm. He's not... He's, he's not perfect. Let's mm -hmm. just put it that way, right? So he understands um, uh, my my emotion state, mm -hmm. my traumas that I have. Mm. So that's important for me, right? And then, and other things, we can just work things together. Yeah. Like I try to understand what he needs, what he wants, and he try to understand. And, and, and I have to say, it's not like it's always like walk in the park and it's like, yeah, amazing. Mike gets me all the time, yeah, you know, and I get really Mike true. all the time. It's not true. Mm. Shit is not true. <laughs> no, for sure, for sure. I mean, like, that's the thing. We don't need to... Let's be freaking real here, okay? Yeah. Like, we don't want to portray... We're the perfect couple. Oh, no. No such thing. <laughs> I mean, behind closed Shit. doors, even when you go out for an, at an event and then you're still seeing us fighting, I mean, smiling. Mm. Oh, I mean, in the car, we were, like, arguing or whatever. <laughs> you know, this sort of stuff is very, very real. Yeah. And I... I like how open you are about it. Mm. How is he with that on your social media platform, though? Like, do you guys actually... Do you, have you ever talked about that sort of stuff on social media uh, before? And is he okay with it? You mean talking about it? Like, as in, in terms of your relationship specifically? Yeah, he's solely okay about it. Because mm. when I grow my social media, I was with him already. So mm -hmm. he knows what he got himself into. And yeah. he was like, he's the one who, who supported me in this journey. Mm -hmm. um, so he has no problem with me sharing anything about relationship and stuff. Because I think that's one of the reasons why people like me mm. in a sense because I'm, I'm being real with everything but yeah. I think I, I love that that you're being real with him too because yeah. I think a lot of uh, marriage sometimes they're not real with their husband or they can't oh, be because yeah. because yeah. their husband does not support them bro don't even get me started yeah. with that yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, and okay because, because yeah. it's true like sometimes you know like I feel guilty to post some of the posts that I have right? because sometimes I want to tell people about communication how important it is yeah. and all these things but then there's people who are gonna, going to go to my DM <clears> and like oh untong lah you know this this yeah, this yeah, uh, yeah, my yeah, husband yeah. will never understand yeah, and yeah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. Blah. but then I do not know what's going on in there marriage uh -huh. for yeah. me to do that so sometimes I feel guilty to post but yeah. sometimes my post is just to like encourage people like you can communicate but yeah. of course it takes two to tango yeah. Yeah. yeah like if I communicate but then my partner doesn't know how but to how like listen yeah. then how is it gonna work yeah so it's not as simple no. as how maybe what you and Mike have or what I have or what mm -hmm. you and Alex have mm -hmm. you know so how do you strategize this communication Oof. thing with <laughs> your husband? Maybe there's some <laughs> tips that we can help yeah. other moms. <laughs> All right, let's list them <laughs> up. Go, Nadi, okay. go. So um, my husband and I are big on, on sharing and just say what it is. Because okay. we both agree that we rather know, even though it's hurt, yeah. Like it's, the truth hurts yeah. rather than in in the midst of not knowing what's happening. Oh, yeah. And we just had this conversation like this year. Mm. Shit, it's 2024. It's like two weeks in. One week in and I'm like, heavy conversation with my husband. So um, I think because of a lot of things happen five years in a relationship, 
the consequences starts to we felt the consequences now oh. mm -hmm. do you know what i mean okay. the consequences of two three years yeah. ago of what what we did yeah. you know what mm -hmm. decision we made in our lives mm -hmm, mm -hmm. together so my husband asked this question to me um do you see me in your life in 2024 he Whoa. asked and i was like why are you even bloody asking this question and i and i don't like confrontation i just yeah. I, I i have fear in it right so but then i was i just kept on like yeah 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 because i don't want to hurt him right yeah, like i say yeah. i just i know he's okay knowing mm -mm. and i just I, yeah yeah I'm, i just don't answer him and then he just kept asking me every day he just kept asking me to the point just two days three days ago mm. and i said to be honest mike um i don't whoa yeah whoa. I, yeah why did you say that because i don't but listen, listen. I know it's crazy, and Mike, I he was hurt, right? But he also tell me, he told me that he would rather know this than not knowing. But I told him, just because I don't see you in 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 two thousand twenty four with me, does not mean I don't want to work our marriage. So then I yeah. see you in my vision mm -hmm. in two thousand twenty four because yeah. that's what I want. Yeah. But the only reason why I don't that I told him that I didn't see him in two thousand twenty four because I have an offer um, now for me. I have a talent management who wants to sign me under their contract, who yeah. wants to manage me. Yeah. So it means that I'm, I will be busier. Uh, my schedule is not going to be, you know, whatever. Yeah. Right. And Mike just doesn't like the idea of me being that busy. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, I don't know. We will have more time together because mm. if you're doing this, this. And for me, like that is what I wanted to do. I've always wanted to try, for example, acting mm. role mm. again in Malaysia. And if I don't, sign the contract with them i don't think i'll be able to achieve my dream what do you want? Yeah. Oh. and that w then that's what mm. made it like for that's why i told you like i'm going right and he's going left yeah. we're like this but i told mike just because i want it does not mean we cannot find oh. it together Big. yeah that's oh. a really tough conversation to have it's a tough conversation. which is also very good that you bring it out because yeah. sometimes in marriage, I just talked to my husband this yesterday. We yeah. had a coffee, just the two of us. And then I was like telling him, oh my God, marriage is super hard. Yeah. I've been hearing a lot of stories mm -hmm. about people like, you know, they can't be together mm -hmm. or they've been together for so long and then yeah. they just ended the marriage, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. And he was like, yeah, marriage is three things. He said, communication, trust, and sex. Yeah. Why is he not here for the conversation? <laughs> then I was like right? telling him like sex. Mm. That's all you think. That's all I hear. You know, the first two I didn't yeah. hear. Yeah. Just the sex. Yeah. That's all you can say. But it's true. Yeah. As much as men say that this is, but actually, if women put an effort to it, we actually enjoy it. Yeah, for him. Then I say. Then I mean, talking about sex is and uh, something so sensitive, and yeah. not a lot of Malaysian will talk about. Yeah. But actually, yeah. it's very important in yeah. marriage, and then Malaysian yeah. don't talk about it like the Western culture yeah. do. Yeah, 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 do yeah. And you know how important it I is. I mean, actually. come on, man. Like, one of the tips that our friend <laughs> told us, I'm not going to say specifically who, I'm just going to put it out there that she was a guest in our studio. Okay. She basically said this, when she and her hubs are like angry at each other and arguing, oh. she will tiba tiba be like, take off her clothes, take off his clothes. He's like, right now? She's like, right now. They do it, bam, boom, pow. Actually, Khan, what were we fighting yeah, about? Yeah. Just oh, it's good, right? Yeah. It's a good tip. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, like, but that is very, very true at the end of the day. And like, there's a lot of like aspects to it where physicality, communication, mental, yeah. like being in it's mental. a state, the mental state, yeah. even the sex part. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I do want to go back to the part where you were saying on how, you know, looking at the place where you're at with your mm -hmm. husband, you know, feeling like that moment that you might be growing apart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can tell you for free, honey, I felt the exact same. Yeah. This was before um, I had my daughter. How long were you in the marriage already? I think we were in the marriage like, this is like years, a few probably. years, a yeah. few years ago. It was just a okay. few years ago, you know? So it was like, and we thought everything was fine and dandy, but I think that tr throughout the relationship, because he's British, yeah, yeah, and like the whole, the whole relationship was, Dee's going to move to London. He's gonna move to London. That's that has always been like the case. he said like, it or no 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 he didn't even say it. It was just an Keep... unsaid un like yeah. you know like unspoken thing, thing. But that has always been the game plan. Yeah. And for the longest time, I think growing up with him in the relationship and everything and doing long distance relationship or whatever, I was like, 
yeah sure I'm looking forward to the day I'm looking mm-hmm. forward to the day you know like it's like that destination yeah. fever mm. I want to get there I want to get there yeah. so we get married I'll move over there blah 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 but then I started to realize that like in terms of work opportunities and stuff like that yeah. I had a few really really great work opportunities yeah. mm-hmm. that were being like brought up they were like audition for this audition for yeah. that whatever and I was like no I don't want to and then I would always say like, oh, is it's it because it's sorry. not? Do you say that you don't want to because of you or because of the idea? You see, that's of, the thing. Okay. That's the part where I started to realize at first, I was like, oh, I didn't want to do it because first I was like, if I did this, then I can't see my career grow uh-huh. because I will stop yeah. at one point and then I will leave because I've actually seen it happen to a friend of mine who actually had a very flourishing career in, in KL and then yeah, he got move. married to a person uh, uh, abroad and then after that much and lo and behold a few months later they divorced because he couldn't take it he was like he was just like and the resentment, resentment. resentment. Yeah. it was yeah. heavy resentment because there was nothing to do there was no yeah. way to kickstart a career again there you go yeah, Honest, and, yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I, I had this heavy conversation with Mike because um, we I gave him like three uh, a, a scenario okay. that could happen this mm-hmm. year first I do not sign the contract I'll just be a stay at home mom like a suri rumah macam tu duduk kat rumah kemas rumah masak apa semua second is I'll I don't feel like she's that but okay, okay. continue <laughs> she, yeah. she, yeah. Yeah. We, she just told us a trip in Langkawi yeah. she can't even like be like not talking to yeah, other people yeah. I know I'll smack the shit everyone <laughs> at home but yeah <laughs> and then the, and second. the second one is I sign a contract and then I'll just grow in this yes and then we'll see how it goes and the third one is I'll just do this whatever it is by myself and, and stuff like this right oh I go back to teaching for example yeah 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 so it's more sturdy and and Mike liked the idea of me being housewife and I said Mike I could but probably but I'm not gonna grow yeah. and you like people who grow with you and you're gonna grow because you're working mm. you're meeting people but the resentment school. is real the resentment is real and I said I've seen yeah. my family the people around me who, yeah. who sacrifice so much for the family and then at the end of the day, they're like... Yeah, they might not feel it now. Yeah. Or there was yeah. spam of oh, seven yeah. years. But when they're 50... Oh, yeah. But because the, the, exactly what Daniel told me when yeah. I first got married. Yeah. So the first year, I remember I was in the car. And he said, oh, so you're pregnant now. So are you going to be... Uh, no, we're married now. So are we going to be like... Are you going to be a stay-at-home? So I'm like, do you want me to? Yeah, I, I want you to be a stay-at-home. So I'm like, okay. Because the idea of... It has been implemented in yeah. our Asian yeah. culture yeah. that oh let's just stay at home once yeah. you're married and you could yeah. I was which is nothing wrong with yeah it, it's yeah. nothing wrong <laughs> if you choose to be that way yeah. and that's what makes you happy that's up to you but yeah. honestly with me I'm not that I've been working so hard I've been in production I've been in radio yeah. mm-hmm. I've been this and that and then suddenly for like that one year yeah. I stopped. I stayed at home. I took care of my baby until six months and I lost myself. Yeah. And part yeah. of my postpartum depression so badly is because of that. And I told him that after a while, I, I sat down with him and said, I think I'm going to resent you. Mm. Oh, you I actually that. said that. Oh, nice. I said, I nice. think I'm going to resent you. Yeah. Nice. No, nice. No, <laughs> nice I'm glad, girl. I'm glad you said it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad but you I said it. I think part it of why... Yeah. Straight to the point. Yes. You got to Part it. of it why I'm so depressed. Yes, part of it is hormone. But part of it is because I don't have anyone mm-hmm. like I have you yes I have people around me but I can't like grow I can't I lost I Sophia yeah. like where is Sophia yeah. like I, yeah. she's gone then he was like okay I don't want you to resent me yeah. Yeah. like thank god then after that, I got a job and I slowly slowly grew my career and even though I'm super tired working mm-hmm. and everything yeah. but I have me yeah, yeah. You know, so I think moms or even anybody who's in a marriage and when your husband said something like, or your partner said to you, like, okay, uh, you shouldn't work or you should yeah. be a stay-at-home mom yeah. or whatever, you need to really think, is yeah. it what you want or is yeah. it what other people want? Yeah, yeah. but there's two old, two, time, two types of guys as well. And the one young man not you stay at home Staying at home mom is like genuinely he wants to support you. Mm. Right? He has a, a kind heart. He really wants, you know, he doesn't want anything bad happen. Because yeah. like mm. maybe he felt a little mm. distant yeah. or something and he wants to make sure that he still have you. Mm. And the other one is just being a d- you know what I mean? Yeah, my son, I just yeah. <laughs> so that's why you That's the song, okay? <laughs> the dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because because yeah, because it's so true. It's hard to determine their intentions as to why. Yeah, yeah. And you don't want to feel like you are unseen or unheard because yeah. when you sometimes okay, I'm saying this straight up. 
if there is a moment where you've had a full-blown career mm. or you have your own dreams, but you've been told by your partner that you should just stay at home. Mm. And like, you know, if you choose to do it because you genuinely feel happy mm, to, do, to it, do it, no feel problem. Free, what? Yeah. Feel free to do so. But then when it comes to like, I'm doing it because I want to please my husband. Oh, you sh- have to understand what his intentions mm, are. Yeah. The, reason, the uh-huh. true reason behind yes. it. There are some people who do feel genuinely insecure in regards mm. to their partners, you know, working, growing, a lot, growing. Yeah. Growing. Yeah. And like, because the thing oh, is, it's, is, it's the fear of, the fear. where are you going to go? Like, as yeah. in, will you grow mm. that way and I will grow this uh-huh. way? Yes. And, and that is a genuine fear. But that's, that's the thing about marriage. Like, like, I, it can start off as together and then at one yeah. point you things lost change it. confirm confirm things because change. we change what like yeah. you said like we we when we were married we were in different stage of yeah. our life and then now we are in a different stage exactly. of our life so and I remember Mike was saying to me oh you know when you were when you were in Poland we were much closer and stuff and I said to Mike well, we're not much closer. We are closer now. It's just the difference is that when I was in Poland, I have no opportunity to grow mm. besides being a teacher. So that was my life. Teaching, come back, cook for my husband, spend time with my husband. That's all. Mm. When I'm in Malaysia, so many opportunities for me. Mm. So I, I'm grabbing these opportunities because I didn't have them when I was in Poland. And, and the fact that I moved to Poland for you it's already like a big thing. Like, yeah. don't, don't forget it. I, he doesn't forget it, but sometimes you just, you have to remind them, right? Like, yeah. I, I actually went to Poland. I freaking get married with you mm. there. You know, what else do you want me to prove mm. for me to tell you that I'm here to stay forever? And even though, you know, we have moments we just a bit more here. Could, I, I just don't understand why we need to dive in so much into this. I it, feel like, you know, I, I, have <laughs> a, I have a feeling that like, sometimes, you know, when, Okay, I'm just gonna say it straight up. Okay. Netizens, <laughs> whenever netizens, these okay. netizens, <laughs> when netizens. these things are being discussed, they will always say, "Why do the women want to work, strive for more? Yeah. Why do they want to do this okay. more? Why can't they stay be happy with what they have?" I'm just gonna put a disclaimer over here, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm not dissing your husband, nor yeah. am I dissing my husband or any husbands out there. I just want us all to look introspectively, internally. It could be a. It's like a. What do you call it? It's a it's an insecurity thing. It's mm. an insecurity of the core factor is you're afraid to lose your wife. Mm. It's not about I agree. Yeah, it's not I about so true. Yeah, your wife growing so true. better than you are. I agree. <laughs> ASMR. I agree. <laughs> no, but honestly, but that's so true. I just had a conversation with this mom. I just had this conversation with yeah. this mom, and she's working nine to five, and she told me, oh. Uh, Whenever my husband goes for like a uh, work trip, mm-hmm. then I went something nice to go to the office. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because if I don't, yep. then she get he'll get jealous. Ah! So one of the reasons why... You, exactly. <laughs> like, see, there's so many types of men out there. There's yeah. so many types of mentality uh-huh. out there. Yeah. And they also have their own insecurities, but they do not say it out loud like, uh-huh. like we do yeah. because uh-huh. they have ego. Uh-huh. Yeah. So sometimes, oh, I, I do one. Like, even like, if I go for a workout, for example, also, who, who is the trainer? <laughs> <laughs> you know that kind of thing? Like, <laughs> 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 exactly. <laughs> then I'm just like, I'm just like, okay, that, that trainer is that, but he's not touching me. We're not in a relationship, yeah, which yeah, is just a trainer. I'm just yeah. working out in a group setting. Mm. Book on your one on one. You know that kind of thing. So it's Mm-mm. I mean, I trust me because I want to be in this relationship. Yeah. yeah. Not I, if I want to, I can definitely just text. Come on, you don't need to go anywhere now. You can just open Tinder. You can just open whatever. Swipe, <laughs> yeah, swipe, 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 yeah, swipe. swipe. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. like if you yeah. want to cheat, you can go everywhere. Yeah, yeah. it's so cheat. accessible. It's, it's so fabulous. Easy. Yeah. I think most of the things that moms or whoever that's in a marriage always say it's because oh my husband takut kalau laki lain macam ni. Oh, oh this is the famous word. Okay, <laughs> it's not you. I'm it's afraid of the man. Uh uh-uh. uh. Like, I'm afraid of the man. I'm like, I trust you. I'm Men. The men I too. Ah, uh, the men too. I tak <laughs> trust. Oh, good. Ah, itu yang dia cakap. You see, you see, our producers like nodding, yeah, nodding. Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. <laughs> While we are all in agreement into this, we're gonna take a short break. Don't go anywhere. Our sassy Sally will be like coming up to like share the question. So yes, yeah, stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to our sassy Sally. <sighs> miss me 
Anyways, so today I have another question. Well, not question. It's kind of a confession. Uh, it says, so I'm going through something with my husband and we are at this point where I feel like maybe the love isn't there anymore. He hasn't made the effort to want to do marriage counseling or anything. How do we know it's time to let go? Okay, so we're going to get real for a bit. So, okay. Well, as you guys know, I am married. I have a child. And... Um, Disclaimer, I have never experienced this personally. I have um, personally seen my own family members, friends or relatives that did kind of go through this kind of issue. And honestly, seeing how they went through that period of time, there is a moment where it was painful and they were suffering through it because either they are in an abusive relationship or in general, they have been together for a very long time and they've been happy. You know, they have been this couple on the outside. You just you just didn't think they have any issues at all. And and then when the truth comes out, apparently all along it's been loveless. And I personally don't know how that feels because honestly, it's scary when you are married with somebody who you think is your soulmate, is your ride or die. And then one day when that love just disappears, you kind of not know what happened and you wonder you ask yourself is it my fault or maybe life just happened and uh, I will be real when I say that a lot of parents um, especially married people who are parents they have children they stay for their their kids because they don't want you know being a child of divorce uh, personally I have friends who are children of divorce and it was rough for them but honestly what they told me was they were much more happier that their parents were s the parents separated and they were a lot happier because rather than them staying together and it being toxic listening to their parents bicker argue it's not really what your children want at least that is what my friends told me and personally i think that if i was a children of parents who were no longer in love or things just fall out of place. I would much rather with being with two parents who are healthy, who are happier in their own lives with newer spouse. You never know because genuinely sometimes people say there is your the one, but there's multiple the ones out there. I believe that's what I believe. But of course, my husband, if you watch this, you're my one. I'm not saying there's another one for me. I am just being straightforward. Anyways, um, that's why I think... I will tell you this straight up. If you need to do what needs to be done, sometimes being the villain doesn't mean you ruin everything or you destroy everyone around you. Sometimes it just means you do the things that needs to be done because some other people don't have the guts to do it. So sometimes you do need to step up and you do it for the sake of your children. We do a lot of things for the sake of our children. So you need to think about the fact, would you rather be happy and you would be in a healthy relationship with your children's um, other parent, you can co-parent. It will be so much more happier rather than you stay in the same house, you hate each other, you're about to turn the whole house upside down every single day and your children needs to grow up listening to that. And that's not a good thing to teach your children that they should suffer, you know, in a marriage because marriage is supposed to be about love. It's supposed to be about communication. It's about be a healthy partnership it doesn't have to be a toxic thing so what we do and what we choose how our marriage goes it will be a very important lesson what we teach our children love is about and what a marriage should be so you know being divorced or getting a divorce doesn't have to be the end of the world sometimes it just could mean this chapter is closing and it's time for you to open a new one and that's totally okay so if you need to do it you do you boo be the person you want your children to be proud of. Not a person who suffers, who is falling into depression. Your children doesn't need to see that. If you want your children to be healthy and to be happy, it starts with you. So make sure you do that for yourself because it does affect everyone around you. It starts with you. Okay? So I wish you all the best. If you ever need more advice or you just need someone to push you off the edge a little bit, you know where to go. My DMs are open. And as usual, I always say love and peace. Okay. I'll catch you guys on the flip side and you know what it is.
Welcome back. back. So we just had our sassy, sassy Sally. Sally. Yes. So basically, the question is kind of heavy, though. Like whether you like. So basically, knowing not knowing whether there's love left in a marriage, mm. and then not wanting to go for marriage so counseling. Tough. When do we let it go? These are loaded questions. Yeah. Nadia, do you think you can answer these yes. questions? Actually, you know what? Considering considering your experience, uh, your <laughs> it's like it's such an asshole thing to say. You're very experienced when it comes to marriages <laughs> because you've done it twice. twice. Yeah, but at least you're not Ross. <laughs> no. Yeah. That's true. That's We're true. We're on a break. <laughs> that's true. But okay, so first and foremost, like I think like let's try to like go back to the same question yeah. of like how do you know if the love is still there or not? Uh, I think oh that's a good question I think when you know that that person stopped putting an effort yeah. then you know if that person yeah. loves you or not yeah. you can know from the action of that person right and then you can you can kind of feel we women have this instinct and we kind of know yeah. if that's it if a guy really loves you they will put effort mm. that's one thing for sure if they don't love you anymore they just don't put effort and that's it it's very objective with men to be honest it's just like it's either a or b right yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i think that's how you know if they don't put any effort at all okay what about you how do you know if they don't put i mean like how do you know if i think the same like uh, effort mm. and also if you i the question was uh, what sally was saying just now was like okay the question was if yes, how do you do it when you fall out of love right how, know, when do we you don't know? know we don't know if the love is still there yeah, so how oh, do you know yeah well, i wouldn't know you wouldn't know yeah. i wouldn't know I, I, how many mean, relationships have you had before uh, <laughs> i had a few but i do have an abusive relationship and all these things me too yeah so <laughs> <laughs> this is not an alliance that we want to have okay this should not be normalized thank you very much but yeah no don't normalize no, no, it no. i'm just saying that we can definitely talk about yes. it yes we can okay. have another yeah. session i was in an abusive relationship mm-hmm. and i thought that okay when you start hitting me that's it i mean you don't love me anymore yeah. that was my justification of that right like okay you don't love me anymore so let's just go but then during my marriage there was time where i'm like he doesn't want to talk to me or he's angry at me oh my god he doesn't love me anymore yeah, there was time yeah, that yeah, i feel like yeah, that too yeah, yeah, so yeah. i don't really know unless i'm the kind of person that you need to tell me yes uh, Carlo, you don't tell me and even even my husband sometimes he tells me but he tells me with like oh all these like no you have to actually tell me yeah. clearly yeah. then i would understand i'm so that kind yeah. of person if yeah. not i'd be like huh I'd be like, no because the thing what? is then at the you end want of, what <laughs> yeah no but the, the thing is though like people act as if like women are such complex oh witches. yes mm. Wait, i'm not saying we're not no, but we, are, we, are. <laughs> we are in our own way we but, are yeah but we do like things simplified yeah. we do like things as efficient as possible yeah. yeah and i think what would potentially help in both parts is rather than pointing out a problem that the other person feels it's how like i mean you know what the other person has done it's how what i feel yeah so it's like an i perspective of right. like conversation and you know whether it's like I'm not happy in our relationship anymore. Yeah, yeah. The I don't love you part is always very difficult to say because it's like you don't know if it's true if you or not. Yeah. You know? it, yeah. might, it might just be in that moment you do Your not face. like yeah, or yeah. dislike yeah, yeah. but then it doesn't mean that you are out yeah, of love. Yeah. Yeah. At the point you're just going through something in within. Yes. Within yes. you is going exactly. through something and then you just feel like it's I'm not at the best place to yeah. talk about it. And one thing that I learned from therapy is sometimes it's the trauma that you had during Years your ago, younger yeah. days yeah. that you need to fix it in order yeah. for you to truly love somebody. Oh, I'm so I'm so bad at fixing shit. Like I'm just like just sweeping under the rug. Are you? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean, no, no. I mean, like when my traumas, because mm-hmm. I was in abusive relationship and all this kind of thing, I just sweep it under the rug. I just mm. never talked about it. Damn. Yeah. So and, have you gone for therapy? No, <laughs> honey. <laughs> So, Never. All right, so uh, I mean, I, I mean, not that. Jenna is not, a good for therapy too. She does not really have. Us. <laughs> Basically, you need to sit on that sofa for us to have a therapy <laughs> session because that's what will happen, lah. Uh, okay. Sophia is basically yeah. working about five hundred ringgit worth of therapy oh, sessions from me, oh, but for free. <laughs> He's very good. Are we free after this session? <laughs> <laughs> no, but like in all seriousness, though, I will have to ask because it was posed on the yeah. question for us, Sassy Sally. Yeah. 
do you guys believe in therapy? Marriage therapy. I I, be- I I believe in marriage therapy. I've been going I've started going to therapy individually and yeah. I feel like yes, it's good because yeah. sometimes there's times where obviously men has ego and yeah. like okay certain topic when you ask do you just much tiba tiba like the ego is yeah. first before the mind. Yeah. So I think therapy is good for that. Yeah. So I think that I would go for it. I I've never been to a marriage therapy. My parents never been to my family. I've never known anyone in my family who yeah. does a marriage therapy. Yeah. Um but I feel like maybe we all should go. <laughs> oh yeah, no. I've we been, should try. We should I've at least been, give it a try. I've been and you it like was it? the best yeah. thing that you could possibly do. I, I try to talk to Mike about it. Um, he's not really open to it because mm. he just like the thought of just paying money for the for the people and then just to talk and th- because he has the knowledge as well because he, he does a lot of this development um, relationship development. Lying, Bobby. <laughs> Lying. <laughs> Lying. Oh my God. It's always different. It's a, do you know like do, that's not the first time yeah. I've heard that particular yeah. and, situation and I and I told him I said Mike maybe there's things that w- when I talk to you you responded differently yeah. that can make me trigger but if I talk to other people about it maybe it doesn't make, it doesn't make me trigger yeah. because yeah. then it says it, it will say in a, they will probably they look in, in a, in a it's mature, mature, yeah. mature way. It's, it's but it's so true world. though because sometimes when I said something right and then he said something but I cannot take it and say oh you only want to know you only want to hear if you're right yeah. but it's not true yeah. we're just trying to explain our feelings yeah. And you just need to understand here. Mm. I think what people always say is communication, communication, communication. But yeah. listen. Yeah. yeah. Listen yeah. too. Because I think that if you don't listen, then you wouldn't understand. And you think they were just attacking you. And yeah. I had to actually say, no, I'm not attacking you. I'm just trying to tell no, you. Do you know yeah. what my favorite sentence I learned from therapy, marriage therapy was? Mm-hmm. It's like, so am I getting... So you're like, da, 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 da. and I'm like, what's wrong? What's the matter? Tell mm. me. And then blah, 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 blah. So let me get this right. Mm-hmm. Like, is this is this correct for me to say that this is this that 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 They're or just am repeating. I wrong? Yeah. yeah. So you're repeating uh, the same thing and being sentence. like, am I getting what you're trying to say? Because if that is the case, then it means that okay lah, then mm. we can move forward yeah, in the yeah, conversation yeah, yeah. from there. But sometimes the assumptions are like totally misconstrued. The the conversation is misconstrued because you feel like. Man, dari mana datang benda tu? Eh, sejak bila I cakap macam tu? You know that sort of feeling. And then it's it's just crazy lah. I feel like marriage counseling is one of the best things that could possibly happen to me and my husband. Okay, that's great. Because <clears throat> you have that neutral ground. You have that opportunity to say it. The shit part is that, you know, obviously the general consensus for a lot of men would be I will only go for therapy when shit hits the fan. But for me, true. yeah, it's because late. it's like mm. it's su- it sucks that ha- it has to be the case where the partner says, "Here's the ultimatum: you either come with me to marriage counseling to make it work, or we're done." Mm. And that's a crappy part of that's how crap, yeah. it they has to get to that point. Uh, mm-hmm. But <clears throat> they learn so much at the end of the day. So why the hell would you just listen to your goddamn wife in the first place? Just <laughs> because they never want to listen to their wife. Exactly. Because yeah. ego is number one. <laughs> they never and listen. honestly, some. Sometimes wife, but honestly, I believe this wife is always right. Yeah, <laughs> unless it's like certain things. That's ego talking, girl. Don't do it. But yeah. honestly, well, you know. no, but like for example, yeah, no. there's certain small, small things, right? That I always say something like, "Okay, you do this, this, this." No, 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 no. I do this, this, this. And then suddenly, like, okay, shit goes, yeah, you know, bad. Then he was like, "See, I told you, yeah, but that's what you explained to me." You know, uh, but I was I uh, saying that from the start. Yeah, you know, so it's common. I don't know. I don't know why husband and wife for years yeah. always have this I know my grandparents go through that oh, yeah. my mom and dad go through yeah. that it's like a chicken and duck situation and it's you like love... they're talking to each other and it's so weird because we love each other um, so much yeah. uh, but I, would... it, I also learned along the way like like you said just now kan, you, dah bagi tahu, you, you told your husband w- something and they don't do it and it happened yeah. and I learned the best thing to do is just shut up look at them and like Hmm. Yeah, smile and true. walk away because that then he pisses true. him off even more yeah. he goes and he was more angry at himself yeah, yeah, yeah. than me saying I told you because yeah. cousin he knows that I should have listened to my wife yeah. that's how I learned to Zinevi because also we're just saying by saying I told you so that's gonna make it worse Obviously, it's not gonna no. help Absolutely. so I usually just look at my and I'm happy I'm like I, I, when, it, when she happens I'm like yeah it happened and I just I don't react to it and I think that makes him even like why don't you react to it yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, um, they, it, it's weird that they like us I yet. expect it it's yeah. unagi <laughs> <laughs> god 
God's sake. But honestly, it's true though. They, yeah. If we don't say much, we, blah, 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 we don't like, we don't like, you know, like, yeah, 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 yeah. She, then they, they, they actually will be like, why, why isn't she responding? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why is she like this? Mm. Then it triggers them. It's so weird how they work. Yeah, yeah. They, they need, need a, therapy and we need, need to a, sit need, over here yeah. and they need to sit over here. We need a manual a manual of men, manual of like men. So Man, we, yeah. Manual. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create a support yeah. group. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Manual. Because it's it's absolutely insane. It's but insane. okay, insane. so basically that is the factor of like, you know, marriage, couple, uh, like couples therapy and everything. It's always a good thing. Yes, I know it's completely taboo. Tapi, let's talk about, what about if you seeked advice from unsolicited advice people oh my god oh my do god. you guys talk about your marriage no problems no I, that, I, I look at the marriage first if their marriage is shit I'm not gonna ask anything mm. to that person but like, then again I, I mean I disagree yeah. in that sense because I just talked to Daniel about this I was like no one thing that I, it's a no no is to talk about your marriage mm. because if you mm. have a problem you and you talk to your it. friend yeah. or whoever lah, and then they give advice and then you implement that advice mm. I have tried this and it has become a lot worse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I said. You don't you don't ask from people who exactly. don't have good relationship with other people. Yes, right? but even sometimes if they have good relationship, yeah, they they work differently than you. They do. Work, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's why I say like I think the best part is ther- the therapist. If yeah. you want to talk to someone, yeah. but if it's friends, family, mm. uh, especially even if it's your own parents, because yeah. they'll be biased because they're they're a kid, yeah. true, kind of thing. True. However, they say, oh, I'm not gonna be biased. I'm not gonna be biased. There's Lies. gonna be biasness. Liza Manelli. I folks. seen my in law. I seen my mom. It's yeah. the same. So I think that I don't. Uh, for me, my part, I I wouldn't. Yeah, just talk to your husband about it. Yeah, and I and I know first of all, probably people are gonna hate me for saying, it, but you are responsible for the men you chose to be part of your life. Oh, true. Ooh. So also, you can blame men for being, you know, this yeah. and that, but you have to take fifty percent of responsibility. You chose that man yeah. to be part of your life, yeah. and you know how he's gonna be. Or maybe you don't know. I don't know. But then it's a responsibility that you took. I took responsibility of being in a shitty. Relationship. You're not talking about the one in now, right? No, no, no. no, 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 no. That, the previous one. <laughs> disclaimer. You know? Disclaimer. No, no, no. My husband is amazing. My husband, current husband. But the previous one. And and as much as I can blame him from everything. Yeah. But let's just put it in this way that I allow him to also treat me that way. Mm. So one thing you need to know is that understand your worth. Yeah. You don't yeah, let true. anyone, yeah. um, uh, you know, treat you how you not, you're not going to treat yourself, right? Mm. And I think that's part of marriage as well. Like, and and I feel like boundaries is also important. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just to tell your husband, like I, I, I needed this. Like I told my husband, you don't need time for yourself because he just loves to be around me 24-7. Yeah. But I need it because I'm the type of person like I take, I absorb energy so much around me. Yeah. So if it's good, it's good. But if it's bad, I absorb it. Mm. So I need time to kind of like... Yeah. Let it go. Mm-hmm. So I think just telling your husband this is what I need, this is what you know I need, and I hope that you can, you know, help me with this. Um, so then we can work things together better. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. just the communication. And I know it's just easy to say, I communicate with your husband. How? Yeah. How do you do it? Is another thing, yeah. right? Which How that's, do- that's why you need a therapist. <laughs> that's why you need a counselor. Yes. Someone to tell you the ways of doing it. Because yeah. the thing is, kind of the any Okay, I'm gonna say it straight up, lah. Forgive me, friend, if you are listening in and like, you know, you understand this that I have to mention. Yeah. So her partner is a very, very like outside on a general basis can communicate very, very well. But then within the marriage, sometimes there's always a mismatch in communication. Uh So I was like, I was thinking to myself, like, what is it actually? Because I had the same problem last time. Mm -hmm. At one point of time in my argument with Alex, I was like, am I speaking in English? Do you not understand what I'm trying to say right now? Do I make you British? (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) I'm not kidding. I am absolutely not kidding. Because sometimes I genuinely thought that I was not putting my words together. Uh So having that admission in Mm. the first place that I am not perfect, that I might not be communicating perfectly or correctly, I would hope to God that my partner would feel the same way despite them thinking that they are, you know, they are also, they are so like professional. I do this for a living. I talk to people all the yeah. time. Yeah. Like, yeah. no, dude, like, that's not the case. With yeah. a husband, it's a different, uh, it's, it's English different. but different language. Yeah. yeah. English but different language. <laughs> I, think, I think because when you're married, your life mattered to me so much, your words matters to me so yes. much than other people. Yes. So that's why it's easy for you to get triggered if 
if you say something different, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if I met someone just a hari you know, and they say something, I'm like, yeah, what do I care? I don't, yeah. you don't, you and don't I affect my life. I think it's also important to be brutally honest. Oh yeah, mm. I feel so it's too. It's ugly, yes, it hurts their feeling, yes, yeah. but if they can accept you because they love you, yeah. then that's marriage. Yeah. Mm. I feel so fulfilled that I can tell Daniel everything oh, yes. and every, every, even if it's like, if it's, if, if it's problem in bed or even if it's problem like anything that I don't like he's I, like we can talk about it he's like, then something. I remember he was like telling me I'm so happy that we can talk about it and mm. we don't have any like oh what are you talking about, about me in bed like that you know the kind of thing yeah, but we yeah. can actually but that's the thing not a lot of people do it no. and then they think that oh yeah. if I, I don't want to say it because nanti dia marah but if dia marah and dia tak nak berubah then do you think that he actually love you fully in that yeah, sense you yeah. know because you, you're, you, you're not leaving yeah. yourself. Yeah. A, he I loves mean, you, and you have to a take, different version of you. Exactly. Yeah. And you have to take responsibility for not... You have to hold yourself accountable for not telling yes. your partner mm. what That's is also wrong. on you, you know? Yeah. On you and as, and well. as much as you love you, like you put yourself first and you want to do everything, but you also are in this marriage. So yeah. when you uh, nikah or whatever, you yeah. already have that responsibility. Okay, I, this is a per- my person. I'm going to be there for you. And uh, you also have to be there for me. You know, it's a... Yeah. It's a. I would say it's a partnership. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. It's, it's a. It's a. It is, it a, is partnership. a partnership. Like it's when I romance. when I told Mike when he asked me the question about this 2024 vision, and I said to him, um, even if I don't see, I'm willing to work our marriage so that we were both in the same page. We both can work things together mm. because divorce is not a bloody option. Mm. You're stuck with me forever. <laughs> but honestly, it is. We shouldn't you know go I mean? into like marriage stuck. thinking like, oh, it's okay, we can get out because of divorce. Yeah. No. Unless it's really, it's really bad, really it's bad really and bad. you yeah. do need help yes. and all this, that's a different story but I'm talking about all these little, little things. Yeah, but yeah, much like, oh, am I still in love with you? Yeah. Have I grown out of our marriage? Yeah. Have yes. I grown out of our marriage? Do we oh, want the same thing? Sometimes, yeah. you're, sometimes no. it's maybe <laughs> because you're just Hardly like, Hardly ever. Do we really? You want to eat pizza? I want to eat pasta. How are we going to do this? So, even if it's just like you know like uh, it's a routine already and maybe you're bored with it yeah so sometimes people think uh-huh. that that is like oh my hey, god betul, boring gila betul. I tak sayang dia dah uh, because it's not like the honeymoon betul. phase because honestly you want to be married forever what so of course the honeymoon phase yeah. will only last for six Dude, months I have this like I watched this TEDx video this TED is it TEDx or TED, TED one of the TED videos are okay. basically and I can't remember for the TED life talk, of me okay? TED talk lah uh-huh. there's this one lady oh. this very great psych Kayatris don't know what she's she's damn good lah. Basically, you have to watch it. If I find her, I'll put it on my social yeah. media. But basically, she said that we are such like interesting creatures, especially yeah. for women, mostly for women in regards to this lah, because we have a tendency of wanting to say, "I want my partner to be this and that. Oh, I want yeah. him to be my lover and my best friend. I want him to be um, close to me, but I want him to give me space. <laughs> I want him to be, you know, uh, very hardworking okay, and committed." Don't in call this. Out yeah. like that. Yeah, no, but it's so have, true. Yeah. But yeah. And, yeah. and that's usually when the moment where you actually realize that your relationship is starting to get boring. That's when the the, the boringness, the boringness of your relationship starts yeah. to develop because you're not getting all of those things fulfilled. And that is such an unrealistic expectation. Yeah. And the only way to sort of fix it is to more or less sort of refresh yourself in a in a sense where look at your partner from a distance yeah meaning like a different you, lens for example, yeah right? exactly it's a different lens a different distance you're not looking at him up close to see all the nitty gritty things that you yeah. don't like that yeah. is not fulfilling you yeah but then you look at the, your partner from afar and be like okay you are a talented person you are passionate about this stuff yeah. you are passionate about that stuff that should be something that could potentially reignite your spark again into getting to know your partner yeah. all of you know yeah. because at the end of the day it is it goes back to the whole insecurity thing of whether you are you know is it actually you or is it the marriage or like is it the because, man or someone else? Oh, exactly. Is it the people around yeah, you? You know that's what I mean? That's right. That's right. I understand. Yeah, that was a good sharing. Yeah, okay. no, I really, really think that like, you know, TED Talk, again, therapy, TED Talks, research, you know, like yeah, all research, these things, I yeah. think. Reading yeah. a book is also the help. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and also whenever your friend, and, and don't ever compare marriages, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is very, very interesting. I feel like we have a question coming up from our producer, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, what do you do in this case? In the case of like what boredom, see it? What? Of like, if you feel like you know you're in a marriage, yeah, yeah, and then you feel like 
you're seeing your significant others in a different lens. Yeah. yeah. Well, in a good way. Am I seeing my partner in a bad lens or good good way or bad way? Either or. You know, actually, I tried That's a good question, method. producer. I tried my <laughs> method. I tried this <laughs> method, and I started to see my husband in a very positive light. Yeah. The thing is, what's interesting is that you know you're talking about getting to know ourselves, knowing our love languages, so to speak, right? Yeah. So I have mine. Mine is like words of affirmation okay. on on the ball, lah. And I compliment him like crazy. <laughs> And I'm like, Sorry. hey, gorgeous. Laughing. Like, you know, like, how you doing? Uh, how you doing, handsome? Hey, sexy butt. Yeah, you yeah. know, that sort of thing, right? And he'll just be like, <laughs> Sorry. okay, thank I you. I do it. Sorry. Yeah, he's just like, hey, okay, thank you. But he doesn't respond. And he doesn't sort of like yeah. rip, give me my love language back. Yeah, yeah. Which, uh-huh. in a way, it did upset me for a time. Mm-hmm. Which I did think at one point, does he love me or not? Yeah. yeah <laughs> and then yeah. after that, it spirals down to, is this marriage going to go like, it's like, yes. Does he love me? Does he love me not? Kind of situation. And But then after having utilized that method of looking at him from afar, I started to realize what a, the kind of person that he is. And whether or not it's like, it's like to me, I saw it in a positive manner. He's very, very hardworking. Yeah. He's very passionate about what he wants and yeah. his goals in life. He, without saying, actually does want to help the people around him, mm, yeah. but he doesn't want to make it a thing. Right. So he's just like casual, whatever, yeah. helping kind of situation. And he's quite funny and he's very, very, very intelligent. Mm. And so whenever I look at him, when I looked at him at that point, I was like, you're really cool, actually. Yeah. And I felt like, kind of like, huh, my husband's like kind of yeah, cool. You know? I, think, I think we do this uh, when we have a new, like the new guy. Yeah. Okay, and when we first, oh, it's like a shiny new toy. Yeah, yeah, After yeah. that, it's all like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm a dog. Yeah, 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 whatever. But then we actually, it's you, they are useful, you know, at the yeah. end of the day, they help us in useful. life. Useful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They yeah. are yeah, useful in so many yeah. ways. You know, I just put it this way, la. if they can take the your crap. The is useful. Yeah, the death is useful. <laughs> Everybody got to have the diach. And we can all say it. We're all married women here. That's a no-no or whatever. The diach is okay. It's halal for us. They are useful in so many ways. Emotionally. Okay, okay. You know. Okay, oh, yeah. my God. Oh, Sophia, I've oh learned more about Mama's you. Oh, my God. Mama's here podcast has made me non halal in so many ways. <laughs> This is basically our chat group, by the way, most of the time. But it's, no, but it's so true. It's so true. And I think, like, no, but, like, answering um our producer's question, like, and I invite everyone to actually do it, not just for your husbands yeah. or your yeah. partners. Like Everybody. Your boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever. Like, you know, consider looking at your partner in a faraway lens and yeah. try to recognize them because, okay, so it goes right. back to that conversation from this TED, TED Talk lady, right? Yeah. So she mentioned that. At the end of the day, we have to remember that we, whilst we are together, we are still separate entities that oh, need to oh, constantly so grow. True. Yeah, that need to constantly so grow. But it's how you move towards that new direction that goal, yeah. together. Right. So you're not <clears throat> doing the same thing. You don't have to do the same thing. That's why when people say, I need to have the same hobbies right. as my partner, I need no, to do everything yeah. the no. same thing as my partner, it's BS. Yeah. Because... In the reality of it, it's just impossible for you to right. want to do the same thing all the time. If you happen to find someone who enjoys everything you That's do, good for you. Good for you. Yeah. Fantastic. Lucky you. But yeah. some people don't have the luxury. How uh-huh. do you deal with that? Go for it. <laughs> yeah. You seem to have the most balanced relationship with your husband. I don't. But that's the thing. I have. I have. But okay, one thing that I I feel I feel that is uh we, we should stop doing is comparing ourselves, comparing uh, relationships. Yeah. Like sometimes when you see in social media, you don't know the whole story. Shit, you don't know the whole damn yeah. story. Okay, girl. so now they say that oh sexy butt all the time. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we <laughs> fight. Yeah, yeah, we fight. Yeah, I post oh like, my god, my husband lap mulut lap. But after that we fight, you know that kind of thing. So, so you see, yeah. but sometimes when we compare, that that would make us much a pressure. Oh, we want, we need to do the same hobby. Yeah. Much and dear. Yeah. Oh, dear, play tennis. I put now. I can't play tennis, man. <laughs> uh, he plays tennis, right? I'm just like, he's like, oh, that's wrong. Yeah. We're frustrated. Oh, let's just go coffee, lah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, I can't play tennis. I actually yeah. fractured my husband. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ganda That's not <laughs> useful at all. Yeah. There you go. 
It's okay to not want to yeah. do the same yeah. thing. It's okay. You it's might break a bone or some shit. Yeah, like I don't that. compare. I mean, social media is the one thing that it's good, but also sometimes bad because we compare. Oh yeah. We post and we think that oh my god, their their marriage is perfect. No, none. I don't think in this world. Yeah. If you say that your marriage is perfect, something wrong with you. Yeah. You know, yeah, to me yeah, because yeah, yeah. I think everybody has their differences, and we are two different people coming right. together yeah. from different families, or cultures, even. cultures yeah. even, and How then we, we are up, trying. Yeah. To live together, it's hard enough. Yeah. So let's not be, make it a big thing. Oh, we we don't play the same hobby, right. so much. Um, yeah. Let's just you know give up. Yeah. No, you that's know, kind true. of thing. That's true. Yeah. Well, talking about direction, I just realized also the reason why much um now me and my husband probably have slightly a different direction in life mm. together is because everything we wanted when we started our relationship. We got it. Uh, we already achieved so all those a things, new one. and now we're looking for new ones. And uh, I'm looking for something more in my career right. because yeah, because all this while I was I was um uh, um just fighting for our love, our mm-hmm. marriage, trying to be together. He mm-hmm. needs to be in Malaysia. I'm in Poland, so that was like done. It's it's finished. He's yeah. here now, and then now I'm looking for something else for myself mm-hmm. because I'm gonna be 30 this year, mm-hmm. and I want and I want to be successful. And also my father. Mm-hmm. F- Always raised. He raised me by like you always have to work. You always have to be independent. You yeah. always have to, you know, trust your husband. But you also need something for yourself. Yeah. yeah. Right. And and then the thing that's the thing. Um, when it comes to direction, like again, you said, just always talk to your husband. D- does not mean that I'm just gonna go divorce with Mike tomorrow. That's yeah. not. It's not even in in the book. Never in my in my life I wanted to do that. Mm. But. Because it's just a work, isn't an extra work now that we have to figure it out together. Yeah, do you know what mm. I mean? Absolutely. That's and marriage. You know what? marriage. And, and, and that's, that's one of the things that I actually learned over time, thanks to Google and doing a lot of research <laughs> in the thanks reality Google. of it. Some of the questions, some of the things that we have to actually should have done be prior to getting into a marriage was essentially saying, okay, what are our intentions first and foremost? Yeah. What is the game plan actually? So each of us might have different ideas of what we want, mm-hmm. whether they're ethical, non-ethical, or whatever. To each its own. If both partners agree, then it's good. Uh-huh. So, but then yeah. the next part is, what if shit hits the fan and those goals are not met? Yeah, there you but go. then there's that's one factor. But then after that, there's your factor where what you if the goals in. are met? What happens next? But then there's always something to look forward to. Yeah, I that's think. why, and that's why I think also that's the reason why we all, me and my kind of like, in a separate, a little bit, not all, but mm-hmm. it's because I want. To, to move on with my career which mm. means I'm going to be a bit more busy than I'm, yeah. I usually am and he's afraid that that's going to take our uh, time away together as husband and wife I suppose like the like one of the things that could be done is like find a way to incorporate um, date, night or date nights or yeah. even or even try putting it like in a business perception because yeah. apparently some of the most successful marriages are like run like business partners. Ah, but the, so like how business partners put communicate. Put it in the Google calendar. Google right. calendar. Right. Like right. check in. Like, I you think know, that's a thing, girl. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. like thing. daily yeah. or weekly check-ins, certain methods and stuff like that. Like, you okay. know, making sure. Sorry, Calvin's but, laughing because I just found out about Google calendar this year. Oh my God, yeah. I can't believe I said it yeah, out loud. No, she's, she's a bit. <laughs> last year. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, no. <laughs> she's 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 slow on that. That yeah. is uh, going. But honestly, going it's, it's true. Put it, like it, books, put it like that. It, yeah. So then you know it's a priority. So I do that now, and I give an email like, oh, dinner, just the two of us, or like a oh, coffee break. Nice. Just, yeah. just so we get to talk. So yeah. we can like okay for that one two hours we talk without the kids, and yeah. we, it's just us. So mm. it's very important yeah. to have a space when it's just us because when it's in the house. Then the kids be like, "Mommy, Daddy," you know, oh that kind of God. thing. Yeah. So I think, <laughs> I think maybe with you, you can. I can. I think we all can do everything. Yeah. That's so true. Yeah. It's just how to be systematic. Yeah. Ugh. About it. Oh my God, yeah. dude, this is like this conversation is just like making on and me on feel and on. Like this will never end. We need drinks and food over this, <laughs> yes. and like you know, Snacks but and, shit. and we probably need an actual therapist whom we will probably <laughs> eventually hire. Oh, actually, said. could we have someone yeah. to just have a conversation? Oh my god, that would oh, be really fun! So cool. Like we can all have like a get together amongst like five girls who have yeah. husbands are not happy with their husbands and We're just holding like, hands like, oh like, my god, mantra, <laughs> mantra, come on, baby, let's try to like figure this stuff out. But you know what? Unfortunately, we no have run out of time. Nadia, thank you so much, much for joining us. 
amazing. So fun. I'm so so happy that we've like got I to like have it. you and talk about this. Thank you so Me much too. for for your openness as Thank well you. because yeah. not a lot of people were willing to talk about it. And yeah. I suppose in a nutshell, I guess because Mama's here is is a safe space for everyone yeah. to talk yeah. about things and you know reach out to us on our community, ask Sassy Sally anything you want to ask at all. Mm. And you know it's just been yeah. awesome. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. And it's very awesome. And thank you so much again, Nadia. And before I know and say something. What do you want? I was just saying okay, 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 After all that bitching. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just want to tell, I just want to say to him that uh, I love him. I love you so much. Aww. And you have been the biggest supporter in my life. Aww. And, um, don't cry. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, there's no t-shirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Throw it, toss it, toss it. Oh, I'm emotional because it's like the last episode, and we're gonna. Like yeah, it's not the last episode. Yeah, but the last. I genuinely feel like it sometimes it scares me for him to have a healthy conversation mm. with me because I've I've been a lot of trauma. I've been in abusive relationship, yeah, yeah. and yeah. it's just for someone to show something different in life. It's, to you yeah. is a big thing yeah. you know for someone to show a different perspective and for him to see me in a different lens mm. because the previous guy would say oh you are a single mom nobody wants you you, ha you have no worth and all Mike did was just see me as such a freaking worthy person Yeah, yeah. even I myself don't believe it mm. do you know what I mean so uh, this this whole life journey is just interesting right this is life. Sometimes you have everything together and sometimes it falls apart. But then you build it together again. Yeah. And yeah. this is the beauty of life that you can always rebuild something. Yeah. And always looking forward to it. So I just wanted to say, um, my husband is the best. I would never want it to, you know, hmm. have anybody else. I think he's the best person in my Aww. life. And God has gave me cross his path with mine so we could be together we can build our life together however That's it is so, nice. so I'm looking yeah. forward for that I'm all so right. excited to see Shut more up. of you and yes. Mike and all this uh, all sexy butt sexy butt uh, <laughs> content yes. on social oh media yeah. again we would like to Ooh. also thank our husband for using uh, their name uh, Daniel and Alex <laughs> yeah. thank you very much for being part of the content thank you again guys Alex, Mike <laughs> and Daniel <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god can you imagine all three of them sitting down together they'll probably just be like what oh, in the hey, hey why am I here like why, oh, yeah. Yeah. but yeah. either way thanks Guys, so much thanks, for guys. tuning in it's been awesome but remember to catch us again mm. on our next episode so of Mama's Here bye, bye. <laughs>